No, I mean, what I've, what I've done here really comes from sort of training, I guess. E, what will come next is F, G, and H. You can call it J, you can call it L, you can call it what you like, as long as you use a capital letter. No, you can, you can keep it the way it is. But what might happen in the future when I show you some more um, complicated things, then we have to use different letters. Because you're describing a different set, so you have different letters. Okay? Good questions. Uh, note, though, can you tell me what's N of E for the experiment when you toss a coin? What's N of E? How many outcomes are on this list? One. How many outcomes are on list F? How many? One. How many outcomes are, are here? How many outcomes? One. Good. How many outcomes are on list F? Good. How many outcomes are in list G? How many? Good. How many outcomes are in H? One. So are you guys ready? You ready for the definition of your life, I guess? Let's give you the definition of the probability of an event. Now notice it says probability of event. Is that true? Again, this is functional notation. So it's defined to be probability of, of an event, P of E. That's defined to be the number of outcomes associated with the event divided by the total number of outcomes in that experiment. N of E over N of S. That is the definition of your life. Notice this. If you guys are going to, anybody here thinking of getting a tattoo? Do we go over that? If you're going to get a tattoo, what do you want to get? Get that. Well, here's the thing, and this is what's going to happen. Um, so I'm trying to sell you on this <laughs> definition. When students typically come to me for help on a probability question, they come and they'll say, I can't do number 14. And then I'll say, OK, well, what does it say? Oh, it says uh, blah, 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 blah. What's the probability of blah, 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 right? What do you think I say to them? The first thing I say is, OK, tell me the definition of the probability of an event. And you want to know what typically the answer is? I don't know. <laughs> See what I mean? So here's what's going on. This definition tells you how to get your what? Answer. That's why I ask you that question to point out to you or to correct the deficiency being that you don't know the definition. So when I say get this as a tattoo, I'm sort of what? A little serious. You don't have to write it down anywhere. Just, just do what? Just remember it. Okay? How do, you, how do you memorize the definition? Every time you use what I used to do, every time I used it, I would write it down. I'd write it down. And if you did this about 20, 30, 20, 30 problems, What's happening? If you just look at it and then come back next week without doing anything, what might happen? You might forget the definition. And if you've never done, it and done any problems, then you really might forget the definition. And then you're going to go, oh my god, this is complicated. And the answer is no. Notice, you're just counting. You're counting how many outcomes are in the event and how many total outcomes are in the sample space. That's all you're doing. You're counting. This is a fraction, a ratio. 
It's the ratio of outcomes in the event to the ratio of outcomes in the sample space. And that's what probability is. Okay, let's look at some examples. So today, if you missed today, I kind of feel bad for you. Well, maybe not so much because you could watch the video today. <laughs> but don't get in that habit, right? Don't get, that's a bad habit. Because then the videotape, you can't ask questions. You can't say, can you clarify that? OK. So if you miss today, what's the story? Oh. They missed the whole don't quit lecture. They'll probably quit, right? For example, you toss a coin. What's the probability? of landing on a heads to a tails. It's a probability of landing on a heads and landing on a tails. How many outcomes? are associated with landing on a heads. Let's go back. We already answered that question. Here's where's the event at. Oh, this is the total in the sample space. Two. Oh, where is it? Oh, here, tossing a coin. Isn't that landing on a heads? What's that? How many outcomes are associated here? One, so the answer is what? One over two, good. One over two. What number is that? Nope, it's not 50. What number is that? What's one over two? Isn't that one half? Isn't that 0.5 as a decimal? So you just determined your first probability. If you flip a coin, the probability that that coin lands on the heads is 1 half, or 0.5. What's the probability it lands on the tails? Use the definition. How many outcomes are associated with the tails? One. How many outcomes are in the sample space? There you go, also 1 half. OK? Is that easy or hard? You sure it's easy? You sure? What do you think, Moshi? It's easy. What's that? We're gonna, yeah, we have to do more examples. But what I'm showing you is that this definition is really that easy. OK? It's a matter of you practicing it, thinking of things in that way, and consistently doing some problems. So. Let's look at some more examples. Let's say you have two children. What's the probability of having one? I want to give you a hint, but I think I gave it away. 